community. Good morning. We have to keep Boomer occupied because he's climbing all over us, climbing all over the tables, knocking stuff down, aren't you? He's a one-man wrecking machine. That's what he is. Driving me insane. I know, short trip, but... So, um, I'm going to go over to uh, Glendale. To... In other words, he's leaving me again today. Do you hear that, Boomer? You're going to have to keep her company. No. Don't leave her side. No. Just be right there for her all the time, okay? Just like this, yeah. Oh, I have one already. I don't need another. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Mine's right here. All right, so I have to, I'm, I have to fix a floor underneath the, re the old refrigerator there because it was a, it was a mess before we even got there. And I, I got to see if I can replace the flooring. I'm just going to bring some of the, our flooring with me. Let's see if I can replace it. It won't match. No, but it's going to be underneath the refrigerator. It doesn't oh. matter. It just needs to be flat and look okay when. Not moldy and yeah. yucky. So that's what I'm going to do. And Kirstie may come over and spend the afternoon with me coloring. So. Mm -hmm. Should I show him what I'm coloring? Sure. I'm really proud of this one, guys. Very nice. Very Not nice. done yet, but I'm really proud of that one. And I'm also working on this one. Very, very uh, nice. My book is almost complete, so I'll be getting ready to show you guys. Do you want to say good morning? Come on. Daddy's got the camera. Daddy's got the camera. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> all right, so for Turn your, right. the tree street is all screwed up here, but uh, I'm on my way to Nikki and John's old house to do some repairs there for Anita, and uh, I'll show you when I get there. I'm not quite sure what I'm getting myself into as In far as of a mile. how big the project yeah. is. It's the floor, and it was a mess before they moved in because I'm the one to put the refrigerator in for them, and it was a, uh, the floor was uh, heavily water damaged before they got there, and because they had no cutoff for the uh, ice maker line, it was, uh, you had to turn the street water off, There's, there was no cutoff, so it was leaking. All the tools I need because I did don't quite know what I'm getting myself into so I brought everything I thought I could possibly need to do this so and um, which was kind of tough as you guys know my garage is kind of jam-packed so it's hard to find tools at this, at this point now I will be organizing that so I can get to my tools better The old Nikki and John house, and this is what I have to deal with. Um, there, the floor here has been wet, and it's been wet for a long time. And I would say that this started um, before Roger died, and it's because of this copper pipe that was run out through the floor. It shouldn't have gone through the floor. It should have gone through the wall, and um, it had no emergency cutoff. I had to put one on myself. Had to go to the the uh, street, turn the water off at street in order to get it to happen. So what I'm going to try and do without got, causing too much damage is cut this out and uh, replace it with some with some wood that I have. Now it looks like 
it's down to the substrate it, and it's real wet and spongy and I need to fix that for sure. Okay, so I was just about to get started. I was cutting the line and I pulled one of the pieces of uh, wood up and looked at the back of it and realized that we're dealing with mold here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to lunch and I'm gonna go to Home Depot and I'm gonna get um, stuff for dealing with mold in general. So here is my solution for the mold on the floor. It's more or less dry, which uh, is not the dry mold tends to throw spores up. So I've got a mold control that I'm gonna soak this with right now. I got some masks and some rubber gloves and some plastic bags to put the, the wood in. So I'm gonna spray this down and let it sit for a little while. Okay, I wanted to make sure it was good and wet. So I'll uh, let that sit for a while before I do anything else. All right, so I've gotten down to the substrate, which is terrible. And I'm not even sure what it is. I, I see that there's concrete on this side. So I think that's where the house actually ended. This may be the wall, original wall. So I'm not gonna cut into that. It looks like I actually found something solid underneath. Uh, it's got a piece of plywood on top on top of the original substrate, which looks like it's in pretty good shape, except it's wet. So let's see what we can do. All right, so there's my substrate I'm putting down. It looks really nice, flat and ready to go. I uh, got a nice straight cut along the edge. I sanded a little bit of the, the very edge there, which is a little light now. I didn't think to bring some stain. I have the right stain. I just didn't think to bring it. So it is done. There's the, the final floor. Uh, there is some scratches on the, the floor on the outside, but I didn't anticipate doing that. And um, Anita told me just to do the, the um, refrigerator space. So there it is. Looks pretty nice. Could use a paint job inside, but that's another day I would say. Cleaned up. It's 9-11 um, night. I got here at one, so been here eight hours. <sighs> Gotta turn off all the lights around here. <sighs> I have one last thing that I need to do. It is so humid here. Okay, now John had asked me if I could pick up this uh, trampoline. This is the trampoline. It's all taken down and uh, I think I can fit it into my truck. I don't know if you can see anything, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. going to strap that down, go home. And that's, uh, that's it for me today.